Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now we are talking about the carbon cleaner machine again because still seems to be getting a lot of comments and stuff on it. And like I said in the video, I just wanted to kind of show people new stuff, new machines out there because there's all there's all sorts of stuff coming out. And if I can get my hands on them and show them to people, it might help you in the future. Obviously, been getting a lot of negative uh, comments on the video. And I can understand why. I have, since I've got the machine, obviously done a bit more research, reading people's comments and, and listening to them. Some of them not, but some of them. I have noticed that the companies that actually make them and the companies that actually provide the service, some of them, not all of them, some of them do advertise it does more than what it does. I have seen no evidence of it cleaning a catalytic converter and I've seen no evidence of it cleaning a DPF filter. Now, some people claim it does. I personally haven't seen anything like that even remotely like that i have seen it clean um you know obviously you know inside the engine egr valves and stuff like that yeah 100 percent. i've seen it i've got videos coming of you know me having live data on the car and you can see the car breathing better and better as the treatment goes on now if your car is completely and utterly clogged to the point where you know it say it doesn't start or something like that because it can't get enough air in then yes this machine isn't going to do it for you and again some companies claim it does this machine is a really good kind of preventive maintenance and also if you have if you just slightly to get the issue yes it will also help if your intake is completely and utterly clogged then no again it won't do it and some companies claim it does when i'm showing the videos i'm not telling like some people think that this machine is fantastic and i'm saying it does absolutely everything because if you actually look back at all my videos i've never mentioned this i've never mentioned that it does more than what it does I, in fact even in the first one i think i mentioned that some companies do claim it does more than what it does i've seen it work and i have some fantastic success with it customers are happy i've done a few videos especially on the jeep pumping out black smoke after cleaning just a little bit at the end so yeah i've had some some good success with it like i said if it's completely clogged no it's not going to work dpf filters catholic converters i've seen no evidence at all to suggest that it will do that the company i got it off doesn't advertise that it does that um where some other companies do so i think the problem with this machine is is the people that are kind of complaining about it well there's there's two there's two kind of trains of thought in my idea you can tell me what you think some of the people just don't believe it and they know nothing and they're just fucking idiots so that's some of them some of them do know what they're talking about but maybe have seen it advertised wrong so in other words like i said dpf filters and cats for example and if they see that that's well hold on a second no it doesn't do that and they only concentrate on the on kind of the lie they don't concentrate on maybe what it can do that's what i kind of think so in my videos i'm only going to tell you what i've found in it i'm not going to say what everyone else has done to try and be as honest and as, as evident as i possibly can if i notice it's done something i'm going to say it you'll see from the videos coming up that it definitely does something you can see because the, the the engine just breathes better you can just tell from the scan data i can't fake that as you guard stripping an engine down and rebuilding and cleaning no i'm not going to do that because the customer's not going to pay me i don't have the time to do that if that's just not going to happen i will be getting doing more videos on putting bore scopes down and trying to get cleaning but yes so that's it people i think the problem with these machines is so some people um, are claiming it does more than actually it does. And I think that's what's kind of killing the machine. Well, not so much killing the machines, but I think that's what people are getting annoyed about. They're hearing all these things and, you know, it doesn't do it. Or they, you know, their DPF is blocked and they get a carbon clean and, and it hasn't finished it or hasn't done it. So then they think, well, all the carbon, carbon clean is crap. Well, no, but it doesn't do that part. There is other machines out there that does that part. There's there's a couple of machines I'm trying to get my hands on. There's um, there is a DPF cleaning machine and there's an intake cleaning machine which sounds really interesting. I'm excited about that because I think between the intake cleaning machine and the DPF machine and the carbon clean, all them three machines together. Well, it's actually only two because one machine does both. Um, I think that's kind of a complete package. That's what I think. Uh, there's going to be more videos to come. I'd like, again, your comments down there because I know it's going to be interesting. But I think some people in the previous videos have just taken me up completely wrong. I'm just looking at the comments and stuff and I can see that they're basically, oh, it doesn't do this, but I never claimed it did that. All I'm claiming it does is if you've got carbon buildup, it helps. 
and I even said in the video, it doesn't do it 100%, but it helps. Yes, if you want to take off the intake, get it all blasted, and can, yes, obviously that's going to be better, but that's going to be, you know, three or four times more expensive than this machine. And if you keep doing this machine, say every you know few years or something, and you never have that problem, well then there you go. You can save yourself a fortune. In in so every three or four years you have to get it all cleaned out, you know, and and it costs three or four times more. So there is definitely a place with this machine, but I think you just have to be careful of who you go to, and what they're actually advertising the machine does. I just recap what I think or what I found. I haven't seen any evidence of DPF cleaning. I haven't seen any evidence of uh, cat cleaning. I've seen evidence of obviously engine uh, cleaning um, and EGR cleaning. A little bit of the intake, but not, not much um, because this machine works. The hotter the part is, the better the machine works. It's a chemical reaction. And that's another thing. People think it's just squirting water and it's not water. It's a chemical reaction that actually happens at heat but it has to be hot so the hotter the part is that it's it's going through the better it works that's essentially what it does so if you've got a really really cold intake a long way from the engine it's not going to touch it it's as simple as that it's not going to touch it and the reason why it's not going to do anything to your exhaust system is because all the stuff is burnt up internally in your engine there's nothing left to go through your exhaust to work in your exhaust system um, there's just nothing left there. It's all basically um, burnt up. Some other guy um, said that it's impossible to produce hydrogen only in a laboratory. Well, that's bullshit for a start. Anyone can produce hydrogen. There's loads of videos out there of people producing hydrogen in washing liquid and then setting fire to that washing liquid. I'm actually going to be doing that as well just to prove that it is hydrogen. It is making hydrogen. You know, there's there's simple tests to prove you can make and of course you can make hydrogen at home. You don't want to be messing with it, but you can make it. So that's it, people. Again, like to know what you think down below. That's what I think. That's the honest opinion of the machine. My customers have been really happy with the ones that have got it done. Um, oh, I've got to. I have noticed more of a, a better result on diesels than petrols. I haven't done any new modern petrols yet, but obviously the diesels, so any of the direct injection uh, petrols, I haven't done any of them yet, so I don't know what it's like, but on the older petrols, I've definitely noticed a bigger improvement on the diesels, because obviously diesel is dirty, and you know, obviously, you know, the older style petrol engines, they are kind of, as long as they're working properly, that they're, they're okay. So that's it, look, hope it helps, thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, all you use, don't forget, links up here, links down below, but most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty, see you for the next one, sorted.